if you hover over sheets and right click and select new sheet and just go with whatever we have here this will bring up a default sheet that's in Revit with all its default settings it has an Autodesk logo and it has a title box which we can fill out the information by going over to the properties panel and we should be able to edit all this by editing these here so I can't see where to edit project name on here so I'm just going to double click this construction detail sheet but you know what you didn't come here to watch me editing text now we're gonna edit this sheet template so if you double click this sheet it'll bring you into the edit mode for the sheet you can edit whatever component you want and the first thing I always edit the first thing I want to edit is this here I want to change it into my own logo so I'm going to go into insert and image and this is a logo I made earlier just to add to the project the dimensions of this logo is uh, 444 by 81 I think it's 444 by 86 I'm going to delete this actually I'm gonna fit it in first in here I'll I'll delete this and you could edit this to put your website in or delete it if you don't have a website technical draft dot com I tend to leave these bits alone but if you want to edit it for some reason if you have your own style of title block then go ahead change what you want it's simple enough these are simply lines which you can move around or delete and when you're done just hit load into project overwrite the existing version and there you go there's your detail sheet let's quickly just I'll just change these here okay so it's a house project and the detail sheet is named construction details one the client is subscribers drawn by me checked by me and you and the drawings are at a scale of 1 to 10 on an A1 sheet